this audio has been put together for you if you're starting a new chapter. Now that chapter may be a new year, a new month, a new week, or even a new day. In fact, it might even just be a new minute because every single moment that passes is another chance for you to turn things around. You know as well as everyone else the only thing that's going to prevent you from getting that North Star, that huge goal that you've set yourself, is you. We can blame other people, situations, the economy, the government and even the weather. But if you want to get really truthful here, then you have to admit that you're the only person that can make this happen. So we need to make sure that you're on form. Just like any machine or athlete, you need to be warmed up each time you have to perform before you attack your day, before you make that speech, before you step onto the pitch or walk into the boardroom. We're gonna make sure that you're mentally switched on. So with this in mind, what you're about to listen to has been designed to help you mentally reset, to mentally recalibrate and to set yourself up to make sure that you win this time. To start this process, we're gonna use the power of emotions. Emotions that will change your perspective and put you in a different state of mind because your mindset is key here. You can only get yourself to act a certain way if you're in a certain mindset. If you see the world in a kind of way that helps you and you have the perspective that forces you to take action. And the first emotion that we're gonna call upon to reset your mind is gratitude. When your mind is truly grateful, it has a state of mind of gratitude, then it destroys fear. It obliterates stress and it helps you get back to your true self. To start this emotional, mental flood of gratitude, you've got to immerse yourself and start to think about the things that you're grateful for or what you could be grateful for right now. And the best tip for doing this is to start close to home. Start with your body. I mean, there's numerous things that you could be grateful for, like the heart that beats 115,000 times a day and the lungs that breathe in 8,000 liters of air each day. And they do this without you even asking them to. Take the time to put your hand on your heart and say thank you. Then we can move on to your senses, being grateful for your senses, the sense of sight that's allowing you to see the surroundings around you right now and your hearing that allows you to listen to music and your loved ones saying things like, I love you. Be grateful for them because they're helping you navigate through life and have this human experience. And talking of experiences, to turn this up even more and to ingrain this gratefulness that I want you to do every single day to make sure that you reset yourself, Let's start to look at the things you've been through, the good things, the experiences that you're grateful for in the past. If it's safe to do so, I want you to now close your eyes, put both hands on your chest and put a big smile on your face and step back in time. Step back to a time when you were happy. A specific moment when maybe you were laughing, maybe you were sharing something with someone in the family or a loved one, or a time that you achieved something. Go back to that time right now, revisit it and relive it. Immerse yourself. Well done. This may take a few times to get it right, but if you've just taken the time, just this time, to do that, then you're on your way. When you're grateful, things can come in your life and they just deflect off you. When you're in that mindset where you are so appreciative of everything you have, everything you've been through and this chance that you've got, because you won this chance to be in the first place, remember? When you're in that state of mind, nothing can bring you down. So that's why I want you to do this on a daily basis because it's a great platform to start from and it really is a mental reset. You do this daily and you'll be so far ahead of the game. You'll be so far ahead of everybody else. You'll get to work, you'll get to your company each morning and you'll be on a completely different level from everybody else in that building. 
But we don't want to stop there. We want to take it even further to make sure you're on fire today. And to do that, it's time to set up your day. To set up the kind of person that you're going to be today in order to win the next 24. Because your life, your whole future is built up from the moments, which is built up into days. And if we can just win this day, if we can get you to be the kind of person you need to be in order to show up today and make sure that this day is a true building block to build the future that you want, then you're gonna win. Every single day is another building block. And if you place these blocks correctly, if you make them strong, if you make them resourceful and put them in the right direction, you're gonna get to your destination. So in the next few minutes, it's time for you to become that person. The person that you know that could make this day a success. That would do it. That will show up. That inner champion. That inner warrior. That's the person we need. That's the person that's going to make this day count. This is where you need to step into character. We need to really tell the brain, show it, who's got to be in control today. And then you need to become that person. And you don't have to act. You're not acting here. This is you being you. This is you allowing your true self to come forward. The one that only shows themselves when they feel motivated in the mood. Well, you're making sure that you're in the mood and you're making sure that they show up today. Who is it that you need to be today? Do you need to be a lover? Do you need to be the carer, the striver, the thinker, the innovator or the creator, or just the person that gets things done? Because this is the first thing that we need to get clear on. To help you do this, we're going to use the timeline again. We're not going to go to the past and be grateful. We're not going to go to the present and be grateful. Instead, we're going to cast your mind into the future, to the end of the day. And if you just go there right now, pretend you're at the end of the day, looking back at a day that was successful, what would it look like? Who have you spoken to? What have you achieved? If you can visualize this, or kind of imagine what it will be like, how does it feel to have had a day like that when you showed up and you made things happen? Take it all in. I've got a question for you. Who's the person that needs to show up right now in order to make this a reality? Because that person, that's the one we need to call upon. That's who you need to become right now. Sit or stand as if your spine is an iron bar. Put your chin up, get your eye line up, breathe in, feel strong. Have the physiology of somebody who can win this day. And as you're holding that stance, remind yourself again what needs to be done. And as you do this, put a smile on your face, nod your head with the confidence that you are going to make this happen. As we come to the end of this recharge, it's time to let this person loose on your life, on your day, and to do what they can do, to, for you to do what you can do. Because this is all within you right now. You're just allowing it to come forward, to run the show and say, you know what, you go out there, you go do it, and let's get to the end of the day and see just how much we achieve together. The journey that you're just about to go on, the journey you're about to create, and the life you're about to create, it's going to be amazing.